you can't meet the, the demand for the market with a legal supply, you will get a black market. Now at five, even though recreational marijuana is legal in California, the black market for pot still seems to be red hot and can even become deadly. Good evening. You are watching KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Pat Harvey. And thanks for joining us. I'm Chauncey Glover. Well, in the wake of that violent murder, those murders of six people in the high desert over illegal marijuana, we're now examining the business of weed, both legal and illegal, here in SoCal. And KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen spoke to experts and a business owner about the struggle. It's affecting our business. The owner of I Lifted in Studio City asked us not to share his name. He says operating a licensed marijuana dispensary is tough when he's competing against illegal operations. That matter grabbed headlines this week after five men were arrested, accused of killing six others in a dispute over illegal marijuana in San Bernardino County. I'm sorry for all the families. Since the passage of Proposition 64 in 2016, which legalized small amounts of marijuana, Marijuana for use, dispensaries have become common in LA County, but some operate illegally. Cal Poly Pomona Assistant Professor of Criminology Peter Hannock says the use of pot is legal, but the cultivation is still highly regulated. It's the fact that you have a market that uh, if, it, if you can't meet the, the demand for the market with a legal supply, you will get a black market. Um, and that can turn violent. San Bernardino County went after illegal grows with Operation Hammer Strike. Last year, a state task force seized nearly 190,000 pounds of illegal cannabis, eradicating nearly 318,000 plants worth nearly $313 million. But defense attorney Allison Margolin, who specializes in cannabis law, says there are barriers to setting up shop legally. Access to distribution and cultivation is limited Limited, both by the amount of time it takes to get the permits from either the city or county in the state. San Bernardino County Sheriff Shanna Dykes blames the violence around illegal marijuana operations on the passage of Prop 64. And the plague is the black market of marijuana and certainly cartel activity. But Margolin says the sheriff's rhetoric is out of an old playbook on the war against drugs. And really, it's just a way for police departments to try to get more funding. Back in Studio City, the owner of I Lift It says prosecutors have tools to clamp down on illegal businesses. They can charge them $30,000 a day for every single day that there's illegal activity on the property, and they're not doing it. The criminal court building right in downtown LA there's a department that all they do is landlords and tenants of illegal cannabis. Legal dispensaries say they often have to charge more than 30% above costs to cover taxes and fees, which is tough enough without being undercut by illegal operations. In Santa Clarita, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.